Hello, welcome to Biostudy Parthala and I am Nilanjana. Today we are going to learn about Lotka Volterra model and this is a topic from Unit Ecology. So let's get started. Before starting this topic, we have to know about species interactions. Species interactions is of two type on the basis of the involvement of two individuals. If two individuals are from same species, then this kind of interactions is known as intraspecific interaction. While if the two individuals are from two different species, then it will be known as interspecific interactions. So these two interactions or so these two type of interaction are based on the involvement of the two individuals. And there are six types of species interactions on the basis of the impact, either positive impact or negative impact or neutral impact. So mutualism that shows positive positive effect. That means here two partners or the two individuals shows the positive impact on each other. Next one is parasitism or prey predation. Here one will show positive effect or positive output and another one show negative output. That means one will be positively affected and one will be negatively affected. Mainly prey will be negatively affected while predator will be positively affected. Next one is commensalism. Here one partner will be positively affected and another one will be not affected at all. Next one is competition. In case of competition, two individuals will be negatively affected. Next one is amensalism. In case of amensalism, one will be neither be affected while one will be negatively affected. Next one is neutralism. Here both the partners will not be affected by each other. So these are six type of species interactions on the basis of positive or negative or neutral output of the species interaction. So now we are starting about the lotka volterra model. lotka volterra model is the mathematical representation of the competition and this competition is mainly interspecific competition. We are all aware about the term of the competition and we can hardly predict the output of a particular competition. So here scientists Alfred Lotka and Vito Volterra proposed the lotka volterra model on the basis of logistic growth curve. We have already learned the logistic growth curve which is Dn dt equal to Rn into k minus n divided by k. Here r is intrinsic growth rate, n is the population size of a particular species, k is the carrying capacity and dn dt is the change of the population over time. In case of lotka volterra model, here two species are minimum involved in this kind of competition. So now we will see about the competition or about this model, how this model can calculate the output of a particular Next is what is isocline graph. Isocline graph means the graph which represents the value that is dn dt equal to 0. And why should we learn about this isocline graph? If we want to interpret the value or the equation of the lotka volterra model, we have to know about the isocline graph. So now we will see what can we obtain from these two equations by putting the value that is dn dt equal to 0. That means here dn1 by dt will be 0 and in this case dn2 by dt will be again 0. If dn1 dt equal to 0 then either r1 n1 will be 0 or k1 minus n1 minus alpha 1 to n2 by k1 will be 0. So if r1 n1 equal to 0 then n1 will be again 0 or r1 will be 0 and if we want to calculate or simplify this equation we will get k1 minus n1 minus alpha 1 to n2 equal to 0 now we will get k1 minus alpha 1 to n2 equal to n1 right and in this case it will be r2 n2 equal to 0 that means either r2 equal to 0 or n2 equal to 0 or k2 minus n2 minus alpha 2 1 n 1 by k 2 will be 0 that means k 2 minus n 2 minus alpha 2 1 n 1 again will be 0 we can write down in our next step that k 2 minus alpha 2 1 n 1 will be n 2 now we will simplify this two equation again in this equation 
we will put value n1 as 0. So now we can get that k1 minus alpha 1 to n2 will be 0. Next alpha 1 to n2 will be k1 and the value of the n2 will be k1 by alpha 1 to and if we put the n2 value as 0 then we can get k1 minus 0 equal to n1 that means the value of n1 will be the k1 in case of the second equation it is we will put the same value that is n1 equal to 0 then we can obtain that k2 minus alpha 2 1 into 0 equal to n2 that means n2 will be the value of the k2 okay and if we put the value of n2 equal to 0 then we can get k2 minus alpha 2 1 n1 equal to 0 that means n1 will be k2 by alpha 2 1 now we can obtain the graph by putting these two values and these two values on the graph so now we will see the interpretation of the effect of species 2 on the species 1 as well as the species 1 on the species 2 by the lotka voltera model here it is the lotka voltera model or the lotka voltera equation for species 1 in the presence of species 2 that means in the presence of the effect of the species 2 the modified equation of the logistic growth curve for the species 1 which represents the dn1 by dt that is the change of the population size of the species 1 over time equal to r1 n1 into k1 minus n1 minus alpha 1 2 into n2 by k1 we have already seen this equation in our previous slide so this terminology is absolutely new if we compare it with the logistic growth curve right so we need to know the meaning of the alpha 1 2 right alpha 1 2 or the alpha 2 1 are the competition coefficient here alpha 1 2 is competition coefficient which represents the effect of one individual of species 2 on the species 1 here you can see if i write down in this way alpha 1 2 here the individual of the species 2 effect on species 1 and this is the competition coefficient and this is the competition coefficient if the individual is 1 then the total competition or the total effect of the individual of species 2 on the species 1 will be alpha 1 2 into 1 now we are considering that the population size of the species 2 is n2 then the cumulative value of the effect of species 2 on species 1 will be n2 into alpha 1 2 so here the modification of this particular equation that is dn1 by dt equal to r1 n1 into 1 minus n1 by k1 minus alpha 1 to n2 by k1 here the n1 by k1 is representing the negative effect of the intraspecific competition of species 1 on logistic growth curve while this alpha 1 to n2 by k1 represents the negative effect of the interspecific competition on the logistic growth curve and this is the graph for the species 1 in the presence of species 2 you can see the red line it is the isocline graph for the species 1 that is dn1 by dt equal to 0 we have obtained the value that is n1 equal to k1 when n2 equal to 0 now we are putting this to value on the x-axis n2 equal to 0 means this state and n1 equal to k1 that means this point which represents the k1 comma 0 okay and when n1 is 0 then n2 is k1 by alpha 1 2 so here n1 is 0 and n2 is k1 by alpha 1 2 now we connect this two point and get this isocline graph now this arrow represents the species decrease from this point to this point. The value on the x-axis increases in this way while the value on the y-axis increases in this way. Right? So, if the point R below the isocline graph, then the species will show the increasement or the species will be showing the increasing kind of population. Why? If the isocline value, if the interactions show above of the isocline graph, then the interaction will show negative impact on the species 1. That means 
the species one will show the decreasement or the negative effect on the species one so this is for the graph of the species one on the presence of species two in case of lotka volterra model okay now we will see the lotka volterra equation for species two in the presence of species one the equation is exactly same but we are just replacing the one value with the two but here the competition coefficient will be alpha to one that means the effect of the individual of number one population on number two population and if the effect of one individual on the species one then it will show the effect as one into alpha to one and we are considering the population size of the one is n one then the cumulative value of the population one on the population two will show n one into alpha to one so this is the modification of this particular equation so here n2 by k2 represents the negative effect of the intra specific competition that means the intra specific competition of individuals of species 2 on the logistic growth curve while i have already told that alpha to 1 is the effect of the individual of species 1 on the growth of the species 2 next is alpha to 1 n1 by k2 represents the negative effect of the interspecific competition on the logistic growth curve here again if we put the value n1 as 0 then we can get n2 as k2 and if we put n2 as 0 then we can get n1 is k2 by alpha 2 1 now we are putting these two values on this particular graph and we can obtain this kind of isocline graph for for species 2 population that is dn2 by dt equal to 0 now here again the value on the x axis will increases in this way and the value on the y axis increases in this way so the downward arrow shows the decreasement or the negative effect on the population 2 or the population of the species 2 and it shows the positive effect on the population of the species 2 that means if a point under the isocline will show the positive effect on species 2 population while a point above the isocline will show the decreasement or the negative effect on the population of species 2 right so this is for today's session guys so thank you for watching this video and if this video seems to be helpful for you then make sure to share this video give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe this channel and lastly hit the bell icon below to get notifications from this channel so till then be safe and be healthy bye bye